Breaking Terra Luna Classic news, everybody. It is official. The 1.2% tax amendment has passed. Five days, baby. Five days. Luna Classic is going to be on the wave. Going to be on the wave to success. <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, money makers. Give me a smile. Smash that like button. And let's get straight into it. So the price of Luna Classic hasn't really reacted to it. I don't think that, you know, the mom and pop investors, the people that were investing uh, because Luna Classic was going up, I don't think maybe they are following what's going on. And ever since what happened with uh, Duquan, some people got a little bit scared. There was a lot of FUD being spread out there. Duquan doesn't have anything to do with what's happening uh, with Luna Classic. Um, you know, the, the people have uh, given us confirmation. They said he doesn't have to do anything. We can be self-sufficient by ourselves. Uh, without terraform labs uh, so it's it's okay right it has nothing to do with them but the price is hurt and you know in my opinion uh, again this is just my opinion a lot of what happened here for terra luna classic is technical right it it was going up it was an uptrend uh, you can see the yellow lines here and then we went into a, a downtrend we went into a you can see the red parallel lines here so this is the situation we are and we are pulled pretty pretty low right you can see whenever it gets low like this usually it pops up which would happen here where 30,000 pop to 40,000, right? So we're very, very close here to reversal. We'll see what happens here for Luna Classic uh, in the next uh, few days. And on also the daily chart, right? We are pulled really, really low, right? Uh, and we're getting very, very close to breaking out of this uh, trend line here. So it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen with that. But it could go down. It could continue to go down. My actual price target here is 20,000, right? Uh, that that was a target that I said to myself, okay, if Luna Classic gets there, that looks like a buying opportunity to me, to me, right? You got to do what you got to do, right? And if if you want to buy, sell, do the hokey pokey and turn yourself around, then that's what you got to do. If that's your plan, right? Um, uh, that's, that's what my plan is, right? Because uh, I'm looking at the graph, I'm looking at previous movements here, and I think that it's going to recover here. Sometimes I'm right, right? Uh, sometimes I'm wrong. More times than none, I'm I'm right. So uh, that I have confidence in myself. If you don't have confidence in yourself, who are you going to be confident in, right? <laughs> um, so we got an update here from Edward Kim. Terra Classic Governance has passed Proposition 4661. The Treasury parameter rates have already been updated once the new epoch starts block 9,475 the effective tax rate will automatically be changed to 1.2 percent so this is the proposition here parameter change for 1.2 percent tax and burn this proposal initiates the tax for all on-chain transactions as first described in protocol proposal sorry 3568 for the 1.2 percent burn and proposal 4159 distribution of v22 taxes will be charged and burned for on-chain activities such as sending between wallets and smart contracts that interact with the chain if it passes the target block where the system recalibrates the tax block is is this number here that we mentioned before and so this is going to be very interesting um we we want on chain and off chain burns that's that's the main goal uh currently uh, we want the the C, the exchanges uh to accept this 1.2 percent burns not only on withdrawal and deposits but also on buying and selling on their exchanges as well and so that's going to be key here for terra luna classic if if it doesn't, uh, then we've talked about this. It's it's going to be a real thorn in the in the hedge of Luna Classic. But you know there are others that could give us a little bit of uh, you know. Uh, there was an AMA today with KuCoin. I was not able to attend that. I had to go to breakdance lessons with my son. <laughs> uh, but let me know if there was anything groundbreaking that they said there. Again, the volume on KuCoin is around ten percent. Um, so it's a, it's a significant amount, and if they do it, I will be I will be a positive thing. But you can see here, around 50% of the volume uh, is Luna BUSD and Luna USDT, right? The 40% and 10%. So it's a significant amount here of Luna Classic that's been trading on Binance, and so Binance, KuCoin, and Gate.io are the big the big uh, things that need to to pass here so that we could uh, get the real real number, right? I think that at first, right, it's five days away. I think at first, right, five days and 15 hours, uh, the, the 
price of Luna Classic might not, we might not see it, right? We're, we might look at it and we say, hey, we're still at 6.1 or 6.9, right? This should be the circulating supply, right? Uh, and so it, it's not going down. What's happening, right? We, we know that the volume uh, is around 1 billion. You see today it's only 770 million, right? We were over a 1.5 billion every single day, 3 billion, 1.5 billion. So the, the volume has gone down a little bit, right? And I think uh, some some uh, of what could happen, could have happened, was uh, we talked about this this morning. A lot of people might have been moving some of their assets to buy Ethereum uh, pre-merge, and now it has dumped after the merge. It didn't have the effect that a lot of people were anticipating. So maybe their people lost money or they dumped, and maybe they're you know, gearing up to get back into Luna Classic potentially if if that's what people were doing, uh, but that's going to be very interesting. I want to talk to you guys about our partners. Don't skip, don't skip, because <laughs> I know it says here 13, right? But they send me a message and they said, listen, Avi, you're such a good partner for us, right? We're up in it for your subscribers to 15. Yes, 15, one, five, 15 free stocks, right? It's going to update soon. The link is in the description down below. You can start trading stocks and options. If you think that the energy sector is going to get hot uh, soon, you can go and you can buy stocks in the energy sector. If you think that the stock market is going to go down, you can buy some puts on the market. So there's has great possibilities with Mumu. No commissions. The link is no, uh, no trading commissions. The link is in the description down below. I'll get a little bit of commission if you use my link, of course. Uh, so thank you for that. Now, for Luna Classic, right? Uh, it's it's going to be very interesting to see if the people are going to stay here with Luna Classic. Why? Because the people are the main reason that we're going out. Now, I have seen in other communities that when the price starts going down, people start fighting, right? And this community already has a little bit of chip on its shoulder because everything that happened with Duquan and the depegging and Luna Classic falling, uh, uh, sorry, Luna, original Luna, falling so much, right? And people losing millions and billions of dollars with that uh, fall. And so I hope, right? This is something that I hope that there's not a lot of fighting in the community, right? Make peace, not war, please. I know that, you know, Twitter and behind your keyboard uh, and wherever you are writing comments on YouTube, um, it's very easy to, to write, you know, and feel like you're a, a big shot, a big dog right? And start, you know, things with people because behind your keyboard, it's, it's a lot easier, right? Same way. It's a lot easier to ask a girl out via text and not looking at her face, right? <laughs> uh, it's just, it's easier, right? <laughs> um, it's a lot harder to look at a pretty girl in their face and say, Hey, you want to go out with me? And that takes confidence. Most people don't have the confidence to say what they think to, to people face to face. Um, I have, uh, you know, my wife says it's a bad thing. I don't know, <laughs> but I don't have a really big filter sometimes. And I'm not afraid. I'm trying to push that onto my kids. You know, if you want something at the restaurant, go ask the waitress, right? Don't, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to, to be, to do that. But uh, behind the keyboard, it's a lot easier. And so what happens is there's a lot more fighting because of that, because people feel a little bit more confident behind the keyboard. But I don't want a lot of fighting, right? Because when the price starts going down, I've seen this before with AMC, Shiba Inu, a lot of, you know, penny style, the whole market. Once people start seeing their portfolio go down, they start becoming mean. They start writing things that they wouldn't have written if it was going up. And so that's just what I want you know, my, my, uh, community, uh, yeah, I can call you my community, right? Uh, my friends, uh, and my money makers, uh, to be good people and to be good, uh, you know, human beings and don't start fights. Right. And to be, try, try to be better than the other guy. Like I've, uh, in the past, I've seen, you know, posts on Reddit, Facebook, wh wherever. Right. And I want so much to, to write something back, but then I say, I don't know this person. What am, what am I going to get out of this? Why do I need this in my life? I don't need it. And then I just erase the comment, right? Because I don't need it. And, and, uh, and so you guys don't need it uh, either, right? So that's just my uh, words of wisdom of the day. I hope, I hope that it was a little bit of wisdom. <laughs> I'm, I'm already an old guy. You know, I have no hair. So uh, it's, yeah, I can, I can uh, give some wisdom, right? 35, right? It's a young guy, not too old, uh, not too young. <laughs> Guys, don't forget to smash that like button. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.